so today I just wanted to make a quick share. I made a um, bunch of journals uh, from packaging. This one is from pistachios, as you can see. And this one is sour turnips. So um, there are two different um, kind of packaging. This one is more matte, but still really smooth. And this one is glossy and really smooth as well. So I'm going to go through this one and then this one. And you're going to be seeing both of them in my Etsy store if you're interested. They are writing journals. Um, there is a lot of uh, writing paper inside. So let me just start. I have three of sour turnip <laughs> packaging uh, journals. Um, they are all similar. They all have the inside cover. Um, so I use different papers because, you know, I can't get the same ones. Um, and this one has this kind of inside paper. It's all painted. And this one has this kind of paper. Um, and it's all stitched around. And I basically uh, made it the cover a little thicker. So it's not really flimsy one. So it's... Um, I don't even know how to say, but it's, it has a, some structure. I wanted that. And I'm going to just start with this one. I put some dangles on um, and you can cut them off if you don't like it. These are in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to just flip through this one. Um, all the specifications for these journals are going to be down in the link for Etsy. So you can go check it out. I included some of the coffee papers and stenciled coffee papers and a lot of notebook pages um, for you to write some butterflies and this is a phone book paper from Slovenia this is some um, I don't even know um, color by number I think um, some triangles more paper and this is one of the papers that I painted with um, my watercolors quite a few pages I wanted to primarily be a writing journal with some bits like this so you have pages to just oogle and you know check them out you can probably glue something on them if you wanted to this page is really old from when my mother had a store. Um, those huge books uh, where you put all of the texts and stuff in. Um, so I just took a few pages out. Um, oh, here's the middle. And the string I used um, is from is recycled from um, some gift wrapping that I got. So I utilized the, the string on it. love these papers this is really old pad that had, had staples on the top I try to include um, similar pages in all of the journals so you would get similar pages in each and every journal and this is the back where you have best before date so it's still good <laughs> um and yeah i really love this um kind of um, journals okay then i have pistachios these are way thicker um than the ones before you can actually see how how much thicker they are so you have a lot of writing space and this i just finished today um the sour turnips i think it was last week that i finished binding them but i had um the covers for quite a while at least a month or something so it took me a while to actually put them together so like before with the sour turnip each and every pistachio journal has different inside cover so you can choose by that which one you like the most but the pages are rearranged the same in each and every journal of pistachios so let me just go through this one um again the cover is thicker 
So I didn't just leave it as one single sheet of um, packaging. So I backed it up so it's uh, more sturdy and I love that. Um, let me just go through. And these are some of my papers from when I was in uh, art classes. Um, so I made a few of the papers there and I just included them because I think it kind of goes with the cover. This is one of the <laughs> this is one of the manuals for um, putting together a shelf, and I included that as well because I think it's kind of nice. This is one of my grandmother's writing uh, from her diary. I stitched some of the pages together so you have some variation, and again, color by number. And here is another page. This is um. A diary type thing um, that I included more stitching and this is page from a magazine I think it's a user manual <laughs> that I painted on one side this page is a prize tag from Aldi <laughs> I have some price tags, white, green, and orange. Um, and I just thought, you know, I should include this because it looks nice and you can still write on the back if you wanted to. Uh, this is um, from newspaper, just um, painted newspaper. And this is um, a page from a book and I really like the inside. And I put a bow in the middle because um, I don't want to have a lot of bulk in the middle. So you're able to nicely close the journal. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.